Previously on Drake Paragon. This garage vent is leaking into the cabin. It's a never-ending battle. This is gonna be great. Taking on the last of the water. What we need is for the O-ring on this cap to fail. We're gonna push off in the morning. The time has come to take down the solar panels. Excited? Looking forward to seeing Canada. Yeah. Sad to be leaving Gloucester. Yeah. I wish we'd had more time here, but you know, it was interesting. We had that Bon Voyage party the other night, and everyone's like, "Oh, did you go here? Did you go here?" I'm like, "No." <laughs> so we'll have to come back, check out all the stuff. Okay. Are you excited to be leaving? I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Get underway. Get underway. I look. I love sailing. Like so, I'm looking forward to sailing. Yeah. So hopefully now we get good wind for sailing. So. I hope so. Very baggy sailor road. You see the bag. <laughs> oh, baggy bag. Goes out. Goes out. And then. Whoosh, oh, this <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. It's all good. Should be nice and snug. Does do these bibs make my butt look big? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I think I got. I don't know who's. I think I got a double bum. <laughs> so we're okay. There you go. All right, near moments. I think we're ready. You ready? I think I'm ready. <laughs> well, it could be better, but I don't think we're gonna get a better window for at least four or five more days, and rather than stay here and anchor for that long, waiting for the flow going through later on in the week to pass, I think it's better we leave now get to Lunenburg before that blow arrives. It's only 300 miles. It's only a few days. Probably hit some 20 knot winds on day two out of the north, but the direction's not bad and we'll just reef. Let her take us there. Mm -hmm. It's not crazy to leave with this weather outlook. It's not like ridiculous. We are pushing off. Headed for Lunenburg, Nova Scotia, 300 nautical miles away, with a bit of a windy forecast. Especially on day two, we've got winds out of the north at about the steady 20 knots and gusting higher. But it's the best window we think we're going to get for at least another week. There's some bad weather coming on Friday, and we hope to be in port in Lunenburg by then before it hits this area. So we're off. Go. The fog's lifted a bit. It was quite foggy this morning. I couldn't even see that buoy when we first got up. Really looking forward to this sail. It's our first really big offshore sail. Are you pumped? I'm super pumped. I'm wearing my salopets. Yeah, That's how pumped I am. I'm so <laughs> stoked. <laughs> Let's do this thing. Hello. 
don't get too close to our neighbor there. So this is the start of our voyage. We've got a great send off from a bunch of kids on a schooner. So we're going to uh, sail the Nova Scotia now. Really looking forward to it. It's supposed to be quite windy. So it's gonna be um, a bit of a bumpy ride, but I think it's the best weather window that, we, that we've seen. Like they were predicting very, very strong winds for in a few days, but those predictions have gone away. So it's still windy, but it's not as bad as it was before. So we're just saying goodbye to uh, Gloucester Harbour. It's been home for the last week, and then before that, in, uh, before Boston as well. The boat's all stowed, everything's up on deck. Everything's stowed down below. The lee cloths are up on the port and starboard city. And we're going sailing. a big problem with this 75 pound rock and anchor on this bowsprit especially in rough seas it can have this tendency to rock back and forth like that not what you want to have going on in a storm so I, I invented this it's made of starboard pieces that are through bolted together with an angled piece going down the center that fits right over the shank of the anchor I used a router to get the thickness just perfect. That will prevent the anchor from rocking at all. You can jump up and down on it now. I put this line around the anchor itself, back up around the roller, and that prevents it from popping up. In addition, just to make sure that the anchor doesn't deploy in rough weather, I just have this little line that's attached here to secure that to the anchor to prevent it from popping out. So the last thing you want in a storm is a 75 pound anchor bouncing off the bow. I made one of those starboard braces for the fortress anchor on the other side as well. See, both anchors are quite secure. I'm really looking forward to this. New course to steer is 216. How's it going down there, Mo? We're underway. Yes. Did you take your seasick pills? Yes. Good. I meant to take it last night, but I forgot. Uh, when did you take it? This morning? This morning. Especially at the beginning of the voyage. You might be better out in the cockpit and just like looking around rather than down below. Why don't you get your gear on get out here before you get sick? Hey, the knot meter works. When I scuba dived on the hull, I found some gunk on the prop and I, I brushed it off. And now it's working again. 4.5 through the water, 4.5 over ground. Soon we'll be going a lot faster than that. I suppose we could raise sail. We got for wind. We got 10 knots on a beam reach. 
So we really like these Contigo mugs. We've got a little button that you press on the side that opens up the thing that you drink through. And when the button is not depressed, it doesn't leak at all. Toss it around, don't lose your coffee. It's a cloudy, foggy day. But the fog is lifting. 300 miles to go. Shake the wreaths out of the main. Get under sail. What do you think of my Zada Jumbo? Very nice! Where'd you get that? The dollar a pound store. Dollar a pound! <laughs> so I got it for a dollar. In Cambridge. Come around that buoy and then we'll get the jack lines on and then we'll change the course. If you feel like a cup of tea around, just let me know I can make you This part is doing my on the skirt, and you come back up and put it on this here. Go full main. What's your rule about wearing harnesses and life jackets on board? If there's any kind of rough weather going on, absolutely, if you're on deck, clip in. If you're the only one on deck, even if it's not rough weather, clip in. Because we're going offshore and I don't want to lose anybody, I'd rather make that rule. We've also got the watch commander alarm, we'll start using that once we break off into our watch routine. We're heading for a buoy. Once we get our sails up, things are going to start to stabilize because the wind will uh, help us push through the waves rather than bobbing on top of them. This up and down motion isn't going to be as rough. But this is the way to keep stable, isn't yeah. it? Nice wind direction. It'll be a little smoother once we get sails up. Yeah. Did you get to say goodbye to all your your mom and all your friends and stuff? That's good. As soon as we clear this land on the port side, we'll turn into the wind and raise it. Uh, wind speed is increased. Yeah, maybe one reef, huh? It's easier to shake it out than put it in. Flashing 5 seconds, 57 feet high, right off of the eastern point wedge. Alright, if you'll hit the standby button on the autopilot and then put her in the wind, I'll raise the sail with one reef and undo the lines on the main sheet. Just uncoil it so that we can pan it out. Okay, she's ready to go into the wind. Got it. Back on course. Okay, going to starboard. Come on, Here comes your tip. There we go. You want the autopilot? Uh, yeah, actually. Are we on course? 
we just near on the course. I'm sitting on 90 degrees. Okay, ready? Here we go. I yeah. know. Go. So this is uh, my first watch of the day. On the 11th of June, we uh, left Gloucester and we're heading for Nova Scotia. And at the moment, it's very, very rolly. The winds are about between 11 to 17 knots. And because of the swell, we have to keep an eye on the boom to make sure it doesn't accidentally jibe. We can't really chill out all that much. We can have to just keep an eye. In terms of traffic, there's very little. Uh, there's one or two boats. There's one boat off the starboard side, and there's another boat off the port side. And uh, I passed another fishing boat which didn't have AIS. I think I have another hour and a half of this watch, and then it'll be time to get some food, and then I'll take a break for a few hours. And then I think Mo is taking the next watch, and then Drake will take the watch after that. So it's all going very well. Uh, it's it's quite foggy at the moment, so I'll show you now here. Right? Kind of crazy being out here. I just try to think how lucky I am to actually be out on a trip like this. So. Go to sea. <laughs> it's kind of corny, but I'm really looking forward to this. 